everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. I thought I would do a Netflix update here. Netflix is red on the day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and really don't know if this is going to make it to where it would need to turn green on the day. There's a small chance that could still happen actually. Why? Because it's 2 o'clock major reversal time and this actually could still have a lift up and through the price today. It's not going to make it to 400 today, which was the target today. And again, low odds, it's going to turn green on the day when it's red right now. But it still could get up and actually close around this area here, which it made the resistance this morning. But it's going to get over this. I mean, it will get over 374. It's just whether or not it will today. It would have been a lot better if this would have gotten over it here in the morning. What this needed to do was get over and follow through in the 15-minute buy setup that happened here at 1030, and it couldn't do it. It couldn't do it, but I'm doing this video now because this is higher. It's still higher. This is actually the action of the stock today was bullish despite the fact that it is a red bar. And this is where it's, you know, you know, this can be tough for people and confusing for people to read stuff. When something intraday does a certain thing, and it's it's hard then to see the overall picture clearly. And so I'm gonna go over this. I actually did buy Netflix today and I took a stop in it. And I actually did re-enter it um, already. And so we'll see where this goes. I, I think there's no chance this breaks the low of the day here again into the close. Um, so I decided to retook it now. So this is my second long in this today. Um, I have no idea where it's going to go. But time of the day was good for this to set up. So I did it. So let's look at the actual. Actually, let's just look at the. Um, well, here, hold on. Actually waited, waited, waited. I kept looking, I kept thinking about it, I kept thinking about it. I thought, you know what, if I don't buy this today, I'm gonna to regret it. So I kept thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking all morning, and I really thought this was the low of the day. As it turns out, it did not end up being the low of the day. I was really convinced that it was gonna be the low of the day, though. Because the time of the day that it set this area was good. 10, 10, 10 ish, 10, 15 ish. Anyways, I ended up buying this in here, 371.50, okay? And I put the stop all the way down under here. Actually, I gave it 366, but it's really under here with the cushion because of the spread in Netflix. So it was like five and a half dollars and change for the for the risk. And had it gone to 400, it would have still been a four or five hour trade. Okay, so it was worth doing. Anyways, it did not. Came down in here, broke, came down came down and it broke here it was this bar here yeah it was this one broke 366 then right afternoon so i had to take the stop okay so then of course when you take a stop in something you don't jump right back into it that wouldn't make any sense at all this is a five minute again and so then i had to wait and the thing was, this is still such a nice concentrated action a real nice concentrated action in this this isn't this isn't really any type of massive selling or shorting that's going on in this. This is actually holding extremely bullishly. I mean, that's the reason I bought it today. That's the reason that I bought it in the first place, okay? Now, what this needs to do to close out the day is to get back somewhere up in here. A retracement up to around 372 or 373-ish would be an ideal. Perfect would be over here. I don't know if it's going to make it there by now. Anyways, so I did decide to go into Netflix then here because of the time of the day then was getting into 2 o'clock. And I decided, well, I guess I'm just going to give it one more shot. So again, this is still holding here very well in the daily chart. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. And it has actually triggered, if you want to be exact, it has actually triggered on the 5 minute. And it's getting ready to set up and trigger in the 15 minute between 2 o'clock and 2.15. And that's a good time of the day for 15 minutes to follow through, all right? So when something stops you out, you can either not redo it again and just say, that's it. Or you can wait. Wait for confirmation. Or you could play it really, 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 really tight, okay? So it's just one of two things you can do in this. Anyways, time of the day that this did a five-minute buy setup was right here at 145, which is actually an exact reversal time. And I put the stop at 364, and that's the end of it. So entry in here is actually the smallest of the entries that this could have had all day or one prior to. 
It was 366.34 was the five minute. Stops 364. And this is a smaller stop than the original entry. But again, low odds this goes green today when, when I did this back earlier in the day, I thought that it would. I still think this has potential to run up to basically 375 or thereabouts, 374-ish. So this is still a good, risk, solid risk reward trade even if it doesn't make it back over 375 or over the high now, doing it on the five minute. So, you know, you could have even aggressively done this on the one, but waited to the five minute. And once this pivots in here, here, it's doing it right now. Yep, here we go. This is so good. So let's just look at the overall daily chart. I, I was trying to figure out sitting here while I was trying to decide if I was going to redo this. Why did this bar go red today? Because it's new buying that made the gap. And it was on earnings. And it was new buying. And it's a bullish chart. And it's in an uptrend. There's so many great things about this. I was trying to figure out why did this go red today? And then I realized why. Uh, there are some shorts in it, but that's not the reason it's red. In my opinion, seeing the trading of this today, all of this happened here in the stock was getting a nice lift, and people were up profits in here when it made new highs. The stock pulled in, and people were long the stock. Okay, Some people got out of their long position and sold out of it. Then the, some of the shorts came in. But not everybody did get out of it, and some people wanted to get out of it, because they've lost conviction in holding it. Now, I still believe Netflix makes new highs, but I think what happened here today was people that were long the stock back up through here that did not get out of this pullback. And then when they had the chance to get out here with profit, they're getting out with profit here today. They're selling, selling out of it with profit. When they had the chance to do it because it gapped up today, they decided to do it. It's so rare you see something like this. That's a strong quality good gap that would go the reversal direction on the day. Netflix is for sure going to be green tomorrow. And this is so strong the way it's holding here in midair. Here's the area it's holding. Netflix is holding support here today. And I believe tomorrow it has a monster green bar day. It's so rare that something is a good gap that doesn't work right as a day trade on the day of the gap. It is so, so rare. But that's what happened today. If you try to buy this today, unless you got out for a scalp trade, you, you didn't make any money. But you didn't make any money shorting this either because it's not as short. And it's not as short. It's actually not even really getting shorted here. This is just some people that I think were up money in here, regretted not getting out of this from the pullback, and then quick took some chintzy profits in this. But the stock is, this is a good gap. And it has potential to make new highs. And it is actually getting bought. The buyers made the gap, the power money people made the gap, and the reason the gap's holding in midair and holding so, so well today, hanging in no man's land and not really going anywhere to the downside is because it's continuing to get bought. This is a controlled action. Here, this is working. You can really see this in here. This is, this is such a controlled action. Every time it goes down, it gets bought. 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 You can almost just be picking it up all day and here buying it. I and mean, that's what the power of money people are doing. They're buying it, buying it, buying it, buying it, buying it. It's breaking the pivots and it's made new lows, but not really. I mean, I took the stop in it because you because you have to, because because I'm day trading this and you know I'm I'm making money here in the day. But this second trade here is now working. Time of the day is good. 374, 375 is the target. Let's see if it gets to it. I think Netflix closes today with a bottoming tail of some length. It's preferred if it's here or above, and a red body, but not a big red body, a small red body, and Netflix could even gap up tomorrow morning. Could have a neutral open and rally or gap up tomorrow morning. Here, this is working. Whew. It's Netflix. Netflix, if this Netflix rallies today and goes green, and it's going to pull a rabbit out of a hat here. I can't believe I redid this. I've just had so much conviction this to be along. And I and I kept watching it and I kept thinking, no, this isn't this isn't really who's in control, who's in control, who's in control, who's in control, who's in control. It's it's hard to see who's in control when the stock is a certain color. I, I know, I know what people are thinking. But just because something's red doesn't mean you short it. It, it. you just can't. And that's why you don't 
short a bullish gap or buy a bearish gap if it doesn't work right on the day as an intraday trade because the people that are in charge of this in the longer term time frame are still the bulls and this will make the move tomorrow. The fact that it's actually holding where it's holding today is actually outstanding for this chart. This is a tough, tough, tough level of resistance for the stock to get over. It's holding very well. It's performing as best that it can. And eventually it's going to get the push. I was trying to figure out why. Why is this red? I think it's the people that just regretted not taking the profits out when it was up over 450 at new highs. Didn't throw the pull in. And then when it gapped up to 380, they just got out. But this is definitely not anything but a long. And, and here it goes. Look. Oh, here it goes. So let's look at the 60. Tough to stay with this. It's triggered here in the 30 minute. Time of the day is perfect for this 215. You could be in this right. Look at this. This, this chart couldn't be any better. Three. This, I can't believe this is going to trigger on a 60 minute chart is what this is going to take. I, yeah, yeah, here it is. This is it. All day, this is taking to do it. Oh my gosh, this might actually go green today. 369.45 is the long entry in the 60 minute chart for Netflix. Stop 364. This is absolutely all day. All day, this is taking to do it. Boy, this could actually, I'm seeing this now. This could actually go green here. Here it is, over 45. This could actually go green yet today because it's triggered on the 60 minute chart at a reversal time. It's taken all day to do it. It's held up all day. It's waiting to go. It could actually close green and close into the close into the end of the day here, green, because Netflix is trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat here, and the stock is so strong, and it's going to trigger on a 60-minute chart. Look, it didn't trigger yet on a 60. Uh -uh. 45. Hard to read. This was really bullish today, but that's the play. That's that's the play, and there was no short play in this. And it's still a great chart. I mean, it's really actually a very, very, very nice chart. Tough to hang on to it here today. You you wouldn't have. You would have gotten stopped out of the morning short, uh, the morning long. You would have just taken the stop, taken the stop, gotten off of it, and just let it be. But there were two people in the room that did options on this, on my gap up call on this before the gap. They did them before the stock gapped up. And they got up this morning, they were up money. I'll have to check with them to see if they followed through with this today um, into tomorrow. Target on this is 400, didn't get there today. But again, if you did the option on this yesterday, you're up money today. And if you have time in it to see what it does, you can stay with it. One of the guys was saying if it went to 425, he was going to make $10,000. So he, he has to get there by Friday for him to do that. But either way, he's up in this. So interesting. I don't do options. I just like to trade the equity. That's what I prefer to do. But you definitely can use my gap rating and analysis to take option trades using the directional bias. And I, I called this to gap up. Now, it might not have. It might not have gapped up. It did, though. I called it to gap up, and it did. And two people bought, uh, did the options for it to gap up. And then it did, and they were in the money as, as, you know, as soon as today started. But you know, to really, 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 really get paid on this to, to, to be able to make, you know, something like 10 grand on this, whatever, or whatever it ends up being between 400 and 410 ish. You know, you gotta, you gotta let the trade play out. So, I mean, this is it here. This is, I, 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 I almost didn't redo this because it's very late in the day here to take a new trade, but the time of the day is good. So we'll see how people make out that did the option in this to see where it ends up being here today and tomorrow. Netflix should have a monster day tomorrow. Could have done it today. Didn't do it today. It doesn't mean it's not going to. It's working through the congestion. It's working through the price action. It's working its energy up. It's working it. It's working it. It's working it. What's going on here isn't a sign of a failure. This is not a failed bullish gap up. I want to be clear. This is a good bullish gap and it is not failed okay it just didn't have the play in it to the upside to really get it going here to make money to the upside today to do it as a day trade but if you did the option last night you're already good in it you're up in it and if you're doing this as a swing trade or core trade it's a good entry here today and you follow it through to the next target and if you want to day trade it you're in in here with me at the reversal time this afternoon to see where it goes 
to see if I can make $10 in this. I mean, I took a stop in the morning train, this afternoon train here, this follows through, it'll be worth it. So we'll have to see. I'm going to be watching this, watching this, watching this, and possibly tightening my stop here soon. Um, I've got to get this to trigger. I think the 30 already triggered. Yep, the 30 already triggered. Uh, the 60 did trigger. 60 already triggered. All right. All right, here we go. I mean, this, there, there is a chance this could actually make it up to this area today. There's a chance it could go above it. It's crazy, but it's Netflix, and you've got to love it, and I absolutely do. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. We'll see if Netflix pulls a rabbit out of a hat today and actually has a monster move here into the close after the gap that it had, waiting all day to do it, working up the energy, working up the steam, working and sweating and trying to do it. It wants to do it. The buyers are going to come in sometime. It's either today, late into the day, or tomorrow to follow through with the gap. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information on the upcoming gap class. It's this weekend, April 26th and 27th. Have a great day, everybody.